so lengthy fucking intro. Hello folks, welcome back to my channel. We're in a bit of a different setup today because I'm going to try to film an entire closet declutter. <laughs> so before we get into that, um, I want to draw your attention to some things I'm going to have linked in the description box. I want to draw your attention to a fundraiser and some other resources regarding the Catamento fire relief project. So what is this? As someone who is trying to be sustainably minded, trying to take care of how, you know, how much am I throwing away and is it going to get recycled or reused or whatever. Um, we hear a lot about clothing donations and textile recycling. Um, so without getting too much into it, a lot of the textile recycling is just first world countries outsourcing massive bundles of fabric. And one of the places that these bales of clothes and textiles end up is the Katamanto market in Accra, Ghana. It's one of the largest secondhand clothing markets in the world. In December, they had a massive fire that tore through the market. Hundreds of stalls were damaged or completely destroyed. Um, so there is this fundraiser to help these workers um, recover and rebuild, especially because this happened at the end of an already difficult year and it happened right before what is usually a busy Christmas season for them. Um, so I'm going to have the fundraiser linked below. I'm going to have uh, the Instagram and website link for the OR Foundation, which is an account that I follow where I learned about this specific uh, event, where I learned about um, the Cantamanto market in the first place and I learned about this fundraiser. Um, their Instagram handle is this is their handle, the OR is present. Um, so if you have a couple extra bucks, throw a few to the foundation. We're already in March and I think they're still only like halfway through their goal. Share this fundraiser link um, or even just read about it and learn about it if this is something that is new to you. With that said, I'm about to try and declutter a bunch of clothes and maybe some of you have had the thought of, well, you've just addressed this concern of how much of our donated and recycled textiles are just outsourced to <laughs> places that have to basically deal with our garbage. Um, doesn't that sound a little bit hypocritical? If you've had a thought like that or something similar, your critical thinking skills are really sharp, good for you. Um, that is something that I have in mind. I don't think I'm going to be getting rid of too much stuff. I did a pretty hefty closet declutter in January of last year. I probably got rid of like a third of what I owned. And since then, I have acquired very few things. I've acquired, I looked into it, I think it was one dress, one shirt, one pair of pants, some underwear, two pairs of shoes, one of which was used. So I think most of what I'm going to get rid of is some things that are way too worn out to keep using, things that don't fit anymore, or things that I held on to because I wasn't ready to get rid of them, but after trying to wear them and after a year, I'm ready to get rid of them. Um, I'm going to repair things that need to be repaired. I'm going to try and sell what I can. I'll try and give to friends and family or my local buy nothing group before donating or recycling. When I, if I end up donating anything, I will consider, is this in the condition where I would actually buy this? And if it, and if it is at the end of its life and it just needs to get recycled, um, then I will do that. I'm actually going to put the work into trying to rehome and recycle these things instead of just trying to make all of it someone else's problem. So with that lengthy fucking intro, let's get into taking out all of my shit. <laughs>
this is my pile of stuff. Not counting shoes, scarves, hats. I'll start with going through my laundry basket. Make sure there's those are all things I'm gonna keep. I thought I got rid of a lot of stuff last time, but this still feels like a lot. One pair of pants, one long sleeve button up that I like. One really light bralette sports bra in here that I might get rid of. When I go through my bras, I will remember that I have that one in here. So first off, three things I'm definitely keeping. This is my beloved North Face fleece. This is the second of these items I have worn. I had one that I wore to pieces. It became one of my work clothing things who had paint all over it. Oh, well, that's important. So when I talk about stuff for work, I work in live theater and I work in a shop. So I need stuff that I do not care if it gets paint on it, if it gets glue on it, if it gets dirty, if it gets torn, I need to be able to move on, move in it. So, and a lot of that stuff that I keep for very like practical purposes is not necessarily my style. So I don't call myself a minimalist, not to the point where I want to try a capsule wardrobe, but my work clothes very rarely overlap with clothes I wear to suit me, which is fine. There's nothing wrong with that. That's the reality of my life. But um, that's just something to keep in mind when I'm talking about what I keep for work, why I'm keeping it. If I don't love it for style, maybe I love it for its practicality or there is something expendable about it that is actually valuable to me. This is like a perfect spring, fall layer for the Pacific Northwest. So I bought another one and I bought it secondhand because it is polyester. Now they're making them out of recycled polyester, which is cool. Um, but this has been one of my favorite secondhand finds. Um, so this is staying. This is my parka. Ooh. Technically, this is something from Columbia. So this is like a puffy insulating layer that zips into what is like a long raincoat. I can wear them separately. Perfect winter parka that suited the weather here. They were good investment pieces. Absolutely stunning. Well, these are easy. These are four sweaters and I've got one in the wash. Um, oops, it's a hair. These are all staying for the moment. I like, this has got a really cool pattern on it. My grandmother made this one. This is not something that I would like be drawn to and buy, but the fact that my grandmother made it is really special to me. This one, this is one that I would be interested in getting rid of if I could find something to replace it. I love the pattern. It's like this printed speckled peeling paint. I think this is handmade. It didn't have a tag in it. It doesn't look like anything was cut out and the sleeves are really tight and the way it's cut the fabric doesn't stretch the right way so I can't pull the sleeves up. It's like a sensory thing for me, but I fucking love the color and the print and it goes with a lot of other clothing that I own. I want to keep it for now. When I can shop again, I might find something that gives a similar feel. This was some like impulse thrift find, but this is like a blanket scarf poncho. I'm pretty sure this is wool because it's really warm and it's reversible. So this is a cool thing I want to keep. Once I've got like a normal year where I'm trying to wear this more, where I'm actually going out to opening nights and dinners and things like that, I'll see how much I wear it. A wool shirt with mismatched buttons that I repaired. Um, this is something I keep for work because this is like my either emergency warm layer or my emergency welding layer because it's wool. Wool is... If it gets a spark or fire on it, it won't burn. It'll just smolder. Um, ideally with welding, you want to wear leather, but since I am small <laughs> compared to a lot of people in the shop, um, a lot of the stock leather gear they have is just too fucking big for me. And it's 
difficult to work. So this is something I would keep in my locker at work. So this is an interesting maybe item. This is just like some shirt. I either got it at like Marshalls or secondhand. It's got embroidery of it. You'll see a lot of embroidery in what I own. I love embroidery. Um, I hate that the pockets are too small. But it's an it's one of my few lightweight layers that's kind that's not a hoodie that's been worn to pieces. I think this is gonna be like on the chopping block to see how much I actually wear it this summer. Yeah, I wanna keep it for now. So now I have three black vests. But for now I'm gonna keep all of them because they all that thing where as I put everything back I'm hanging the hangers backwards the open hook is facing towards me as I wear them and wash them and put them back back I will turn the hangers around so after a year or this time next year I will be able to see what have I worn and what haven't I worn I did this last year and I actually wore everything I think except one nice jacket and one nice dress that I'm very sure I would have worn if I had more events to go to. So it's interesting. This is staying. This is my lightweight rain shell. I don't love it, but I wear it a lot. <laughs> and again, this is something that I might consider replacing if I could try stuff on. I'm gonna sound like a broken record in this video. Keeping this right now. This is fun. I'll see if I can find a picture of this. This used to be a dress. This used to be one of my favorite thrift dresses I ever found. It had pockets, of course. Um, I outgrew the dress, but the top still fit. So I cut it into this shirt, It and now it is this kind of slightly open back thing. Ooh, this is one of my favorite thrift finds. Oh, I have a lot of favorite thrift finds, but this one, again, I'll see if I can find a photo. But this one, when you wear it, the draping, the sleeves will like point out like this. This is silk. One of my like go-to easy costumes is dressing up as Lady Loki. And this shirt just gives me beautiful super villain vibes. So it is versatile. It's not just a costume piece, <laughs> but um, this is one of the things that reinforces how much I love thrifting. Gonna keep, oops, gonna keep this alpaca sweater. I actually just wore this yesterday. And this is a souvenir from when I studied abroad in Argentina. This is another thrift find. I would love to be able to find this in the next size up. This is from a brand called Laundromat. And this is fully wool knitting, but it's all lined in cotton. And then also like along the zippers and everything, it has this that doesn't stretch, which is kind of a bummer that I can't pull the sleeves up, but it keeps this knit thing from stretching out, which has been a huge problem of a lot of knitwear I've owned. It's super warm, pockets are huge, the hood actually fits over my ponytail. I'm keeping this as long as it fits me. Okay, now we're getting into some stuff that I need to try on to see if it still fits me. God damn it, I forgot you were, you were paused. Um. Okay, what happened? <laughs> so, these two paint shirts still fit. This tank top is too small and I will be donating. Um, and this paint shirt, it fits, but because it's a child, it's too short. And it's sentimental because it's from my summer camp as a child, but it doesn't fit really. It's too short. Um, and while it's sentimental, it's it's not like I ever took it out to look at it, to remember. Like, I just have the memories. And I have worn it to fucking pieces. There's holes in the armpits. The, you know, the print is fading. I mean, for something practical like a shirt, isn't that the best way to honor it, is to wear it until the end of its life. 
Now I'm trying on my paint pants. These are Carhartts that were from my partner. These are 31, 32. These might be too small. And these are 32, 32. So these might still fit, but I might get rid of these. We'll see. So I couldn't get the 31, 32 over my butt. So those are a declutter. The 32, 32 button, but they're tight. Like, if I sit, that is not comfortable. That's two more things gone. Actually, let's continue in the pants realm. I've got my two pairs of shorts I'm going to try on to make sure they still fit. Of my pants, pants. I'm going to try on these jeans. I don't think they fit. These pajamas are a declutter. This is my only true pair of pajama, pajama pants. They are sentimental and they still fit. They are staying. These cargo pants from Costco are great. They're staying. These linen blend are great for summer. These are the jeans that work as my paint pants. These are my fucking favorite pair of jeans that I wish I could find more of. Or if these are cropped length. I wish I could find them in a full length. But of course, they're fast fashion and they don't make these anymore. They, these are jeans. Now they only have jeggings, which have more elastic and make my legs look like a sausage. So, <laughs> um, high waist cargo. I don't really love the fit, but, um, these are really practical for work. So I'm keeping them for now. Um, fluffy pants. <laughs> what are these? These are, uh, what is this material? Not velvet. This is from the first trip I ever took with my partner. We went to Disneyland. These still fit. They are nice, warm lounge pants with pockets. For now, they're good. What is that material? It's not velvet, it's... Anyway, these are high waist leggings in that same material. Super warm, super... They're a little bit tight, but um, I love them. I wear them quite a bit. These are cropped, just kind of like loose workout pants. These are something I live in in the summer. These are getting kind of small, but I fucking love this print. Holy shit, it looks like paint spatter. I love these so much. Actually, I should try these on because they might not fit anymore. These are some secondhand Soul Cycle ones. I don't really care about Soul Cycle. I just thought the the little skull on them was cute. These make my butt look so good. I would be fine getting rid of these. When I was doing bar, I wanted at least three pairs of leggings. I would be fine passing these on because I really want to get a pair of leggings with a pocket I can put my phone in. Again, it fucking needs to be practical. I need to have pockets. I need to have pockets. Um, I have my eye on a pair from Girlfriend Collective. I'm gonna donate these. I bought them secondhand, but they're still in good condition. Let's try some shit on. <sighs> I do fucking love these. But they're definitely tighter on me than they used to be. I can definitely see the wear in them. It's not as bright. I can kind of see the white of the elastic between the layers of woven fabric. It is time to rehome them and they will bring someone else joy. So these jeans, man, this room got really dark. I didn't mean for that to happen. These jeans, they fit, barely. They're 30-30. They're too tight. Like, I can zip them up, but I'm not comfortable in them. I like how they fit, though. This is actually the second pair of these jeans. I've, I've bought them. I bought them when I was one size smaller, and then I bought these always secondhand. They're American Eagle, so they're pretty easy to find. These are my only pair of jeans, and I haven't really missed not wearing blue jeans. These are shorts that are cutoffs of like some stretchy jogger pants. Front pockets are huge, back pockets are fake and I hate it, but I wore the shit out of these these past summer and shorts are something I really need to be able to try on to shop for. So I'll keep these for now. So these, I don't know how well you'll be able to see. These are a pair of black Bermuda shorts. I kind of hate them because they fit weird, and there's something about the material that attracts every fucking piece of lint in my apartment. Um, and I've also rolled them up one more because they felt like a little bit too long. But I'm going to keep these for now because, again, shorts are hard for me to 
shop for without trying them on. And these are something, I've got this and then I'll have another shirt I'll talk about that are like my dress blacks if I'm working a show call at this one venue that I would normally be working at in the summer. I don't know if they have a season <laughs> this year. It's one of those just in case scenarios where if the situation comes up, I might have to time to run home and grab the thing I have. I will not have time to go shopping for a thing if I don't already own it. So until I can actually go shopping for different shorts that I like better, I'll hang on to these. I also like, I, I, this past summer when I outgrew my last pair of shorts, but when I couldn't go shopping, I started wearing these and they were fine. <laughs> Rain pants, keeping, swimsuit, keeping, ooh, silk long underwear. The pants are a little snug. These are superior to leggings under pants when it's really cold because they are silk. So your jeans or whatever, they slide on and off without like pulling the cuff up to your knee. Um, so I'm going to keep these. I'm going to try on the shirt. Too tight. It fits, but it's too tight. I can feel it in the arm. Donate. Okay, so here's more donate pile. Let's put some shit on the way. two pajama shirts. It's from a work thing. This is from where they work the loadout of Beyonce's formation tour. No, I didn't get to meet her. Her crew is really nice though. It rained the whole time. <laughs> so in this little box that came out of this drawer, I've got a little corset from when I was really into corsets. Um, this one still kind of fits. It's a good costume piece. It's I just feel like keeping it for now. I've got my one pair of tights. They are footless tights because I hate the feeling of tights around my toes. These have seen way better days, but they're still fine. When it's time to replace these, I would like to get the footless tights from Sheer Tex because supposedly they those fucking last forever. These probably have like another year left in wearing them. Uh, hoodies. I have three, and I actually have a fourth that's still at my office at work that I haven't seen in about a year. But these are all sentimental. They're all sentimental. I'm keeping all of them. Actually, what I forgot to show you. Oof. This is my box of stuff that I've already decluttered. I've got worn out socks, some bags, some things I've got listed on Poshmark. And in here I've got this hoodie. It's beautiful. I love it. It's got this beautiful print on it, and it hides how many stains are on here. The hood is nice and cozy. But because I pretty much only wear hoodies to work, I was very loath to wear this one because it would get ruined. Um, so I took it out of my closet. I, I put it in here probably at the beginning of like December or something, and I haven't thought about it or missed it. So this is going in my declutter. Okay, this is a try on, this is absolutely a keep. This is the sh only shirt I bought last year. This is American Eagle in a medium. I had this shirt in a small, I fucking loved it. Again, one, when it was clean, it was one of the first pieces I always reached for. It's got snap buttons. When you roll the sleeves up, they stay rolled up. It's like a denim shirt. So finally, I was like, I miss that shirt. So I found it. I guessed that I was a medium. I was correct, and I have worn it pretty constantly. <laughs> this is also a keep. I don't really love that it's just black and white. It's kind of boring, but this is like a good layer flannel. It's um, got a pocket. I actually like that the sleeves are this like stretchy ribbed material because when I push up my sleeves, it stays. Had to take a little break. My camera phone camera phone needed to be charged and my blue apron order arrived. So that was great. 
In the meantime, I went through my socks and my underwear. Um, I'm just getting rid of one pair of socks. For a lot of my lightweight summer socks, I think this will be the last summer and then I'll replace them. Um, I went through my underwear. I got rid of all but one of my Thinks period underwear, which I fucking love, but these are now too small. I kept the one pair that was a little bit looser in it. But I also haven't really worn them in like two years because with my birth control, I don't really need them anymore. Um, so I kept the one pair and I have reusable, washable pads should something change and I need them. And at that time I will reassess if I need to get new ones. Um, and I'm getting rid of one, two, three, four bras. This one's kind of super, superfluous. Oh, do I want to get rid of that one that's in my laundry? Yes. So I'm getting rid of five bras. So when that one's clean, um, they're just like these super, super lightweight sports bra, bralettes. This is a bra that I am wearing the tan match. This is from U Underwear. Um, I don't like how these fit. I'm keeping my tan one because I'm having a hard time finding kind of bras that are nude on me in a style I like, but with this one I'm wearing, as I take shirts on and off, it rides up. The straps are as tight as they go and they're falling off. So I'll keep the one I'm wearing until I can find a replacement I like, but I will give this one away. Um, <laughs> my strapless bra is way too small for me. And this is something I need to replace soon because pretty soon here, I'm gonna have to go wedding dress shopping. And I'm probably gonna be want to be wearing a strapless bra while I'm trying stuff on. And this shit doesn't fucking fit me anymore. And then this is fairly new and I'm gonna try and sell it because I have worn it and washed it twice, never been in the dryer. This is from, what's the brand name? Brooke Bear. And I was excited because this I think is a 36A, which is really hard to find. Usually they only go to 34 and that's what's too small for me now. The size is right, but because there's no bottom portion, maybe you can see on this one. So on this one, there's like the cup and then there's this bottom band. And that's great. This one doesn't have a bottom band. So like my U Underwear ones, it rides up a lot. The hardware is too big for this elastic because I will tighten it at the top of the day. And at the end of the day, it'll be too big and falling off my shoulders, which I need to like give a review of this and give them feedback about that because they are someone who is trying, they're, they're a brand that is trying to source almost everything like US made or US owned or something. And they have been having a hard time finding little findings and stuff like this. So it's a bummer that this isn't great, but maybe, maybe they can find a different elastic that fits this finding better. But anyway, I'm going to try and sell this. Oh, also worn and washed it twice and I've had to repair it because some of the stitching came apart, which I don't know if you'll be able to see. I had to kind of repair it right along here. So yes, I've repaired it, but I don't like how it fits. And every time I look at it, I'm just going to feel frustrated that I'm trying to not buy fast fashion underwear that's within my budget. And twice now it's been a miss. And we'll go through my shirts. This is a try on. These are like my tank tops. I'm going to try these two on and compare them. Keep. These are all keep. I'm going to get rid of this pink one because if I want like a nude or neutral under one undershirt, I've got this one that fits me better. And of these two white ones, I will choose what fits me the best. <laughs> this is another shirt that, um, I cut up and made into a crop top because I wasn't really wearing it. This is my souvenir shirt from when I went to see The Lion King. Um, this is Scar and his quote, I'm surrounded by idiots. Um, Lion King is my why theater show. It is, I've seen it twice, both times. 
I have cried like full on bawling at the end of like the first line of the opening song. It's just um, the first time I saw it, I was in the second row on the aisle. The elephant came down the aisle. I couldn't have touched it. It was... It was such an amazing production. Um, holy shit. <laughs> Keep the rest of my long sleeve shirts on a pile of stuff to try on. And uh, surprise, surprise, most of what I'm keeping is black. Hashtag theater life. All right, let's try some shit on. So I tried on the smaller of the work shirts. I'm not going to show it to you because it has my work logo on it. It's too small. I'm going to see if my mom wants it. She might like it. I tried these two things on. I'm gonna get rid of this super, super old undershirt. I don't wear undershirts nearly as much as I used to, but between these two, I'm getting rid of this one that's got a bit of a V. And, come on. Come on. <laughs> this one, that's more of a straight neck because this one actually covers my sunken chest. Which, one of the other things about it is, if I'm wearing anything with kind of a v-neck and I bend over, you can see to my belly button. And sometimes it makes like a v-neck shirt that should be reasonably modest feel more revealing than I want. And there's only so much I can do about the shape of my bones. So it's nice to have one or two things that I can use to kind of cover up when I'm just not feeling it. So... I'm gonna keep this crop top. I like that it's long enough that it kind of covers my belly button. It used to be white. It's one of the ones that got stained in that wash with the dress. This I'm keeping. This I actually really like, like with leggings to go work out in. Um, this little crop top um, is now too small. I used to love wearing this under sweaters or under long sleeve tops because the wide neck helped it not show. The underarm helped absorb odor so I could wear that shirt the next day and then it was cropped so I didn't have to have bulk there but it's too small now um what I'm gonna do is these are two really really snug undershirts I'm gonna get rid of the white one but I'm gonna take the black one I am going to cut it and crop it and basically replace that red one and make this be like my undershirt cropped tee and then this white t-shirt I really don't like wearing white t-shirts. <laughs> um, this is from a theater I used to work at. I really don't wear white t-shirts. I'm gonna put this in with my paint shirt pile. You know what, I'm actually gonna keep these because I'm looking at my t-shirts of what would I not be heartbroken or even what would I not be upset if I got paint on it or a hole in it or something and I have about seven. So, given that I do my laundry right now on average once every two weeks, I think that's, that's a good number. I'm going to try this on. Do you know who this is? This Emma Peel. This is um, from the show The Avengers. Not the Marvel one. The, like, British 1960s spy one. This is Diana Rigg. You might know her from Game of Thrones as, what is it, the Queen of the Roses? The Rose people. And then I'm also gonna try on this thing. This is something I have worn the shit out of in the summer, but I don't know if you can tell. I don't know if you'll be able to tell. It's super fucking pilly. I think it's too tight. But I love that it was black with these like shiny gold buttons, so it was like really easy to dress up and dress down. I'd love to find something like this in other colors or in the right size or whatever. She's a little tight in the armpit, but for now, at least another year, Miss Diana, she stays. Yeah, this is too small now. You can see too much of my bra straps. 
I can tell from, I don't know if you'll be able to see, but I can tell from buttoning it, it's too tight around the waist and it's puckering weird here. So this is a declutter. Okay, so from my shirt drawer, I got rid of one strappy undershirt shirts so this here's an little, another little crop it's super stretchy this is something i got a swap me for free um, I fucking love this, especially in the summer. With my high rate, high waist red cargo pants, if I have a picture, I'll put it up. Fucking love it. It's like, got like a very like 90s vibes. It's super comfortable. Absolutely keeping this. Absolutely keeping this. I also got this as a swap meet. This is silk. I don't love the tunic cut on me, but I love the pattern. And this is so fucking comfortable when it's really hot and actually these with like a pair of either either like the black bermuda shorts or the black cutoff shorts one of my go-to outfits in the summer this is a shirt i like with shopping this is something i might replace for something i love more but for now i'll keep it this is a thrift find. I wore the shit out in the summer. I don't wear a lot of white, but I think I bought stuff in preparation for a trip I was taking where I knew it was going to be like in the 90s and the 100s every fucking day, but I also didn't want to just like wear tank tops because I didn't want to get sunburned. This was great. Actually, this with like a colorful sports bra under it because there's a bit of a gap here. Um, it looks nice. It's cotton. It breathes, protects me from the sun. The sleeves roll up. I'm gonna finally get rid of this. It's fine. It's in great condition. This might be too big for my mom, but I'll see if she is interested in wearing it. Otherwise, donate. Fucking fantastic thrift find. This is, I mean, it's Forever 21, but I fucking love it. Pockets are fucking enormous. I can definitely fit my phone in there. Um, it's a little tight around the waist. I kind of wish it was shorter, but that's just my proportions. I rarely wear it, excuse me, <laughs> I rarely wear it buttoned up, but this is like my go-to summer layer. This is basically like a tour through all my favorite thrift finds. This is something I haven't really worn because I haven't left the house. This is a purple wool long coat. It's fucking amazing. The pockets are enormous. <laughs> The gold buttons are great. It's a little tight across the butt. Story of my life. I got this for 20 bucks. Haven't worn it a lot because I haven't gone out. But during normal times, this is my go-to fancy warm layer. Another warm layer. Look at this fucking thing. I wore that when it was cold enough to wear it. I wore this every fucking day my senior year of high school. This was my statement piece. It's it still fits me, right? Hold on. If I button the button the bottom button, it's gonna pucker open, and I might pop the button button. But in high school, this was my thing. It's not actually that warm. The the fur is, but the fur is just a nice layer. Um, so I've held on to it for sentimental reasons. I think my mom was using it for a long time and then I saw her wear it and I stole it back. But you know what? I think it's time for me to give this back to my mom because she doesn't have a lot of nice outer layer stuff. And I think this actually fits her. This, this giant fucking coat. I gotta try this one on for you too. Cause look at this fucking collar. I could wear it, I could, where are the buttons? I could wear it up exists <laughs> I probably wouldn't but um but this I actually bought with a Halloween cost for a ha this I actually bought for a Halloween costume and I wore it with and I wore it with this hat which now I can tell on the camera are completely different reds it's Carmen San Diego it's it's like my go-to Halloween costume that I can wear to work because it's just like a rain jacket and a hat. 
Um, do I want to keep this? It's ooh, it's gotten a little tight in the arms. Yeah, I think I'm gonna keep it for now because you can never have too many raincoats around here. And it's a super easy Halloween costume that's really practical for work. I fucking love Halloween. I wish I had the time and energy to go all out more. Sweaters. This is like my one long, nice sweater. It has pockets. It doesn't button, but like the way it fits in the shoulders, it fits fine. It doesn't look like a thing that has fallen open that I need to button. For now, this velvety little kimono thing is staying. It's a nice little statement piece. This, <laughs> this is a poncho that my mom's friend bought for me. I need to cut these fucking things off. Um, it's really itchy, it's got, but it's got fucking bones on it. <laughs> I actually wore this once. Um, I wore it to the local theater awards for my city and the first time I ever went and it happened to be on Halloween. So I wore a long, long back black dress that you'll see it with that. Um, and then I wore that wrap wool and shawl thing. Um, and it was so fucking perfect. Um, so I'm not big on keeping like a lot of novelty things, but that one, for now, I fucking love it. <laughs> Ooh. My bathrobe. See, my problem is this apartment's really warm, even in the winter. So I barely wear it. But this is not our forever home. I know we're, we're probably looking to move Probably not sooner than three years, maybe like three to five years. Do I want to, um, um, nope, I'm going to get rid of this because I would basically be holding on to it for three years until we move somewhere and then I judge whether where we move to is warm or cold enough for me to still need it. It's in a good enough condition to donate. I don't need it. I don't need it. These giant loose pants. Actually, this is, these have been something I have worn more during pandemonium times than any other time. I have definitely found a way to dress them down and dress them up. I fucking love my fancy pants. It's a little silk velveteen skirt. This is a stretchy high-low skirt. It used to have like these ties that got just so fucking stretched out and I just cut them off. Um, this is something I fucking live in in the summer. Fucking love this. This is again something I used to wear a lot in high school. I used to have three of these. I had a red one, I had this one, and I had a white one with buttons on the front. This is the only one I have left. Uh, again, like this is something I wear a lot in the summer. Yeah, fucking love it. Okay, dresses. Whew. Alright. Seems friendly. That's new. So this is the one dress that I bought. I think I bought this in January. Um, if I have a picture of myself, I'll insert it somewhere. So this is from a brand called Seams Friendly. I learned about them through Shell Bizzle, who is a vegan, zero waste, ethically minded YouTuber content creator. They are a fairly new brand. Everything's made to order, so there's no product waste. And they will do custom measurements, which is huge for me because I don't, I don't know how much you can tell, but I'm someone who's like, I am a large on the bottom and a medium or a small on the top. So especially finding like one piece things like dresses are really hard because either it's part of it's too big or part of it's too small. Almost all other dresses have pockets. This is not sponsored, but, um, they're a pretty cool brand, but you can also alter like, Hey, um, can I have the sleeves longer? Can I have the hem shorter? Can I not have pockets on it? I think that's stuff they were doing for a fee, but that's pretty cool. And their prices were, for me, they were affordable. I think this dress with shipping was like 60 bucks, which, okay, it's not fast fashion, but it's not like 100 $200 items where I'm like, ah. 
I'm just not ready to spend that much on stuff when I struggle to take care of my clothes because I'm so spoiled by shopping secondhand. Anyway, um, want to shout that out because that's pretty cool. Um, I will link Shelby's video where she talks about this brand. I think it's, she's talking about like several brands and this is one of them that she talks about. This is one I got in Mexico. It's got this embroidery on it. And it's got this, actually they didn't come with this belt. It came with these. This is a loose kind of high-low tank dress. I live in this in the summer. Ooh. This is my favorite fancy cocktail dress because fucking look at that. Um, also these are removable. I can wear it as a strapless or I can wear it just like this. I can wear it X and has pockets. Yes. Okay. This long boho dress, super comfortable, super easy. Love it. Stretchy. Love it. Um, so this is a super long jersey knit dress. This is the front. I actually tend to wear it backwards. So it's kind of low in the back. Um, and then I will wear, and then I'll wear it with like a statement necklace like this. It's super comfortable. I can move in it. Um, this is also a good, like, if I want like a quick witchy costume, this is great. Last two things, two more favorite thrift finds, this silky maxi dress. Uh, it's gotten a little tighter, but still fits. I love this color. I've worn this probably to more than one wed wedding at this point. Um, and then this vintage midi dress that's a similar um, profile. This is nice because uh, if I don't want to wear a bra, it kind of hides the fact pretty well. So yeah, not much changed in my hanging closet, which is not surprising. Um, anyway, let me push it away. I'll show you my declutter pile and then I will film shoes, scarves, and bags. Okay, this is what I'm getting rid of. It's actually quite a bit more than I thought. So this is all, okay, trash. We'll try to donate, but I will not have my feelings hurt if they just want to use it for cleaning rags. Everything else is in good enough condition to donate. Again, I'm going to try to go through my buy nothing group before going to a thrift store. And then I'm going to see if my mom wants those two things. Um, what am I going to sell? If my mom doesn't want that coat, I'll probably try and sell the coat. And then I'm going to sell that one but that's pretty much it okay not too bad not too bad mostly it's like shit that just, just doesn't fit me anymore and that's uh, that's fine okay scarves i have a lot i barely wear them so as much as they're pretty gotta whittle them down this one can go. This was a really cute thrift find. I'm pretty sure it's silk. I might try and sell this one. Um, I don't reach for it. It's not... Okay, either, either the scarves are in frame or my face is in frame. We can't have both. Um, because it's silk and it's like so fine, it's not something I reach for when I'm cold and I don't really wear scarves for just fashion anymore. So that can go... This is, an, this is like one I bought at the same time. It's another like beautiful woven thing but again like it's kind of small so I just don't reach for it this one's new from Christmas this is like the weight that I gravitate towards it's kind of like a small <laughs> blanket scarf um but yeah I fucking love this one actually and I actually kind of like the color and the texture more than this pink one I will get rid of this one this is my other like go-to one I grab for it's a similar Kind of blanket fabric also if you've looked at my instagram this has been the background of probably more than one photo so keep 
keep I don't really wear this for fashion, but it's got little fucking sculpts on it. Um, I want to keep it for now. Again, it might I might use it for like Instagram. Um, you know what? No, I'm gonna get rid of this one because I have this one that I actually wear. So keep. I think it's time to get rid of this one. This was a. One of my souvenirs from when I studied abroad in Argentina. It catches on zippers like crazy. Um, and I just find that, like, I don't know, it doesn't go with a lot of stuff that I'm wearing these days. So it's still lovely. So I should be able to find a home for it. This is another one I wear all the time. It's more lightweight than the other ones. But I love the print and I love the color. I think the color looks good on me. Um... This is another one I like. This is my cashmere one that goes with that hat and it's super warm. This is a nice infinity gray scarf. Gray is nice and neutral. This is something I haven't really worn. It's like a gaiter that my mother-in-law made. But if I'm ever on a work call and I want something like a scarf but I don't want a loose end dangling, I will keep this. And... How do I feel about this color? Nope, this color makes me look green. So that's declutter. So that's one, two, three, four, getting rid of five. Keeping one, two, three, four, five. Seven and a half, that's probably still too many. <laughs> we'll just, we'll just do this and try not to acquire any more. And um, we'll go from there. Okay, I have to show you, I kept the exact perfect amount of things because there is one item on each peg of this organizer. So, it was meant to be. Lighting's not great, but we'll make do. Shoes. I have 16 pairs of shoes because out in the front hall I have my slippers, which I'm not getting rid of because I've been wearing them a lot more, and my hiking boots that I fucking love, but they're covered in mud. So I'm gonna leave them out there. I'm keeping those. These I have to keep. These are my steel-toed shoes. I rarely need them, but when I do, it's like, you can't come to work without them. Um, these are by Doc Martin. Um, I change out the laces to make them fun. Um, but So these I barely wear, but I have a practical reason for keeping them. These I bought, these are my red leather Doc Martens I got secondhand and I fucking love, but they've always been a little bit too small for me. And I'm gonna give them another go. I'm gonna try and wear them, but I think, I think their time has passed. These are the new pair I got for Christmas. These are Blundstones. Um, I had to return the pair I got because they were too small and get the half size up. I'm still in the process of breaking them in. I'm almost there. I've got really high arches, so they've been really tight across here. I've been wearing them with thick socks. I've been, I think I'm almost there. <laughs> um, but like these, I'm gonna give them like another week or two. I've mostly just been wearing them inside the house, but I'm gonna give them like another week or two of like really trying to break them in, and I might just have to return them because I think the next size up is gonna be just too fucking big. It's anyway. If I can get those to work. Then I will give these away. These are, I mean, these are, I think were like from Payless, but I love them because they're like a lace up comfy boot, but they don't have any zippers on them. So like they've been a great costume piece. I've used them to run show crew. Um, they're super comfortable. I'm only keeping these until I'm sure the Blundstones are broken in. And if they, they're not, then I will be on the search for something else. But for now they're staying. These are my slip-on Adidas shoes. These are my go-to. I'm wearing them all the fucking time. I love them so much. <laughs> These were my work shoes. They're like a running trail shoe. I've barely worn them because the Adidas ones are more comfortable. But in terms of stepping on a nail, climbing a ladder, you know, having to stand on ladder rungs and stuff, I need something with more 
more structure here. So I'm not wearing them right now, but I'm going to keep them because once work so starts up again, I will be living in these. These are my teaks that I bought secondhand. The other, the other pair that are new-ish. I like them, but similar to the Doc Martens, they kind of pinch my toes just a little bit. And I can tell that the next size up would be too big. It's just the shape of my foot and how fucking delicate my feet are. <laughs> um, I'm gonna try and wear these again this summer. And if they still, just if I still don't love, love them, I'll resell them or donate them. But they're staying for now. With them are these super cheapy PP little flats with a little zipper back and these, but these are super fucking comfortable. I mean, I don't think they're gonna last very long, but I have tried to like wear these <laughs> this around like the house all day and I fucking forget that I'm wearing them. These are a pair of leather sandals I got in Italy when I brought two pairs of tennis shoes and it was too fucking hot and I had to buy a pair of sandals. So I didn't buy the first, I didn't buy the first pair I saw. I searched, I found these, they're kind of Birkenstock-esque um, and I've used these for two summers now and if I have, if I don't need closed-toed shoes in the summer, these are all I fucking wear. These are my super lightweight pair of foam Tiva flip-flops which I use, they used to be like my go-to summer shoes, but those other ones I fucking love. But I keep these because they pack smaller than these ones. And I don't mind getting them wet if I'm, you know, going on a boat or going kayaking or it's, I'll carry these when I'm hiking, if we're like hiking to a lake so I can like take my boots off but still have shoes. So I have a use, a rare, but intentional use for these. These are my one really tall pair of heels. I'm getting rid of these. I tried to wear these even just like for a couple hours a couple weeks ago. Again, one day I'll be wedding shopping and I'm, I don't want to wear like stilettos, but I tried to wear these heels and they made my toes go numb, which is something that happens when you're wearing heels that are too tall, is like your, your second and third what is it? It's like on your toes. It's like the nerve that runs right here, if this is your big toe. Um, so these are not in bad condition. I'm going to see if I can get the, the padding that I put in here out, and I'm going to try and sell them. They're super cute. They never rubbed. They never gave me blisters. My, my almost 32-year-old body doesn't want a two and a half inch heel anymore. So there's our first declutter. So then of heels that remain, I've got these corks. Um, these are actually kind of like my go-to dress-up shoe that I can, I can walk a long way in. They look kind of elegant, but they are quite practical. They've got a little bit of a heel, so these are staying. Um, and these, they're super cheapy, plasticky ones. I, I think they're already starting to come unglued. I bought them secondhand. But they were surprisingly comfortable. I think it's because even though it, this looks like a fairly tall heel, if you subtract this, the heel's only like that tall. So I'm gonna give these one more try this summer. I predict that they're gonna fall the fuck apart. Um, but once they do, I will probably keep my eye out for something like this from like, Clark's or Born or one of those like comfy shoe brands that make ergonomic but somewhat stylish shoes. Um, I think this kind of like platform espadrille thing might be like if this is my it's kind of cold I want to cover my toes nice shoe maybe I have one pair of summery heel platforms so I'll keep these for now. Uh, these I'm gonna get rid of. I love them. I got these in Mexico when I got that embroidered black dress. 
but even though I sized up, they hurt my toes. I don't know what it is. They're like really chunky. I'm gonna see if my mom if they're comfortable for my mom also as much as i love them so they are actually embroidered well machine embroidered but you can see some threads are being pulled and the problem with this is i live in a place where it rains a lot and i don't want to wear these in the rain which me really limits how often i can wear them so i supported the cool small business they didn't work out they will bring someone else joy um, and then my last pair of shoes, I guess, are these little ballet flats from when I was taking adult ballet. Mm, I'm gonna keep them for now. I reserve the right to change my mind. So I'm only getting rid of two pairs of shoes with two maybes. And these are pretty chunky. And I think I will reassess again, at least at the end of summer how I do with some of my other shoes that I haven't been able to wear for the past couple of months. That's it. That's all my stuff, plus what all I'm wearing, which is all keeps at this point. <laughs> I hope you enjoy this video. If you stay to the end, you're a fucking trooper. I might split this into two videos. We'll see. I hope you have a good rest of your day. I encourage you to go out into the world and be curious. Don't forget to check out the um, donation and information link in the description box for the Catamanto Fire Relief Fund. Uh, I will see you folks in my next video. Bye!